I'm not going back. Erica Soap. That's fine. I don't really care. <laughs> Doing this live only. Checking it out for herself. Hey, Erica. <laughs> Yeah, so we already talked about the Bayou. Now we're on Bourbon Street. It's a little bit more of like a street lifestyle. We've got all these booths out here. They're selling a ton of cool things out here. They even have some voodoo, apparently. Grigory and, bags. And Good what? Luck. what are, Grigory bags. What? How do you even say? What did you just say? Grigory. Grigory. Voodoo. Ah. Uh huh. We have voodoo. we have some voodoo. We have the voodoo queen. She can tell your fortune. You can interview a vampire right on Bourbon Street. A vampire. They uh, exist. Inter They're real. Real. Interview with the vampire was written by Jean, uh, Anne Rice in New Orleans, and the CW has the originals, which is shot in New Orleans, and it's vampires. Vampires. We do. Okay. So we talked a lot about food in our last seg last segment, but there's actually a lot of culture here. This is like we have been transported to the South, and there's a lot to offer. But one thing you really wanted to talk about, Sue, was the booze, because you know yes. how to party. Yes, we do, and we brought New Orleans history here with the alcohol. <laughs> All right, tell me about it. Okay, here we go. This is called the Cesarac, America's first cocktail in the 1800s. They make it, and it it's, was wonderful. It has Cesarac bourbon, and it has absinthe and some bitters. We recreate that here. America's first cocktail at the Jean Lafitte Bar, which is the oldest structure in the in America housing a bar. Hey! Absence, that sounds dangerous. Absence, you, you can see the green ferry. <laughs> if you drink enough absence, the sailors and the pirates said you could see the green. It was supposed to be hallucinogenic, and it was used firstly as medicinal, and then we drank it. So we've got <laughs> sailors and pirates and vampires. Are you sure this isn't something out of a fairy tale? No, it's real in New Orleans. It's we are real, and we brought it here to you. We have great food. We have spirit cakes. What's in a spirit cake? Booze. We have a muffalada. You know, with olive salad that was created in New Orleans on Bourbon Street with zaps, potato chips, right, right out. So we have a ton of food, but then right next to it, we have some instruments, and that's actually a part of an event that you offer for kids. Yes, we have lots of kids' things to do, but this is really unique and special. It's an instrument petting zoo, and Ben takes this and he really does it with his heart. He teaches the kids how to play jazz instruments that have, maybe can't ha have an instrument. It's called, yeah, there you go. <laughs> so forget. The goats and the llamas. Who cares about those? We're no, gonna we pet some animal or pet some instruments. That's right, at the instrument zoo, and they go all around, and it's free to the kids. And if they're wonderful gentlemen, they're fabulous musicians in their own right. And it's here today and tomorrow. The kids will be playing today. So if, if people are coming down to the Crawfish Catfish Festival, what's the one thing that they have to do before they leave? Listen, honey, you got to do everything. I come from I come from New Orleans. You have to do. There is no one thing in life. All right, you heard it. You got to come here. Make sure you have a schedule because there's a lot to do. <laughs> Again, Hanodi Rice. We want to thank them. Nice, nice. Good to see you, Louisiana Sue. Uh, she's a parent that prides herself on race.